You won't find a pet store anywhere in St. Pete. And city leaders want to keep it that way. The mayor wants to ban retail pet sales, and his proposal is on the July 14th city council agenda. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live at the SPCA Tampa Bay facility in Largo. And Aaron, the mayor is hoping that this helps shelters like the one you're at, right? Yeah, Linda, there are a lot of animals that need to be adopted. The mayor is hoping that maybe an ordinance like this will get them to maybe uh, come to a shelter like this one rather than going to a store that sells pets. There's no shortage of animals that need homes in Pinellas County. SPCA Tampa Bay and Pinellas County Animal Services, just those two shelters alone, are taking in somewhere between 40 and 60 new animals every day. That adds up to as many as 300 dogs and cats just at her facility. Getting them adopted is hard work, and St. Pete leaders are hoping to help by banning retail pet stores in the city. I think an ordinance like this gives people a chance to pause and think a little bit. The proposed ordinance came from Mayor Rick Christman, a dog lover himself. His chief of staff, Kevin King, helped write it. We currently do not have any pet stores in the city selling dogs and cats. That may change tomorrow uh, if we don't do this ordinance. It would also prevent breeders from selling anywhere other than their homes. King says the mayor is hoping to limit the city's animal population and urge more people to adopt from shelters. Well, it's a little bit symbolic. Uh, it kind of tells the world what kind of city we are as it relates to, to pets. And St. Pete's a, a very pet-friendly, dog-friendly town. If the city council passes the ordinance, St. Pete would join more than 40 other communities in Florida that have done the same thing. SPCA CEO says the regulations help keep out inhumane breeders. There are unfortunately some not so good industries that get involved in mass producing puppies and kittens. That's why she loves the idea. We're hoping that other communities will take a look at what St. Pete is doing saying, hey, this might make sense for our community as well. And the mayor's chief, chief of staff says that most humane societies and shelters do like this idea, although the uh, American Kennel Club has come out against it. Throughout the country, there are actually 130 communities that have passed a similar ordinance to this one. And, Linda, this ordinance is going to be discussed at the St. Pete City Council on July 14th, and they may vote by the 21st. All right. Thanks, Aaron. I know.